Let's find out about the rods of God which shown tremendous impact in the movie G.I. Joe 2. Rods of God is a new weapon being developed by U.S. Air Force that uses the kinetic energy. China is also developing the same weapon under the name of the Canes of God. Rods of God has already started to develop since the 1980s. At the beginning it was planned to drop about 100 tons of spheres, but with the problem of the cost of orbital placement due to its heavy weight, it was converted into a way of destroying ground targets by rapidly dropping thin depleted uranium or tungsten rods. It is a good strategy to reduce weight and increase speed by making it into a rod shape because the kinetic energy is proportional to the weight and proportional to the square of the velocity. The choice of increasing the velocity is much more effective. Rods of God is planned to destroy a huge area by dropping 12 tungsten rods from an altitude of 1000 kilometers. Rods of God is a terrifying weapon with many advantages. As it is dropped from a satellite, it can hit the target quickly around the world. Also the tremendous speed of 11 km per second makes it possible to strike anywhere on the earth in just 15 minutes. And since there is no power source, it does not emit electromagnetic waves, so detection as well as interception is almost impossible. Rods of God is an environmentally friendly weapon. It may sound crazy. But, it is an environmentally friendly weapon because it emits no radioactive contamination unlike nuclear bomb. Even it gives fatal damage by vaporizing the surface of ground into a plasma state. And rods of God can be an effective strike weapon, since the bunker busters are becoming ineffective. Because, more and more facilities such as command centers and weapons facilities are hiding deep within the ground bunkers. It is a fiction that Rods of God has the power of nuclear bomb. The idea is to drop a 10 tons of tungsten rod in the speed of 11 kilometers per second. The kinetic energy of an object with 10 tons and 11 kilometers per second is 605 gigajoules. The explosive energy of 1 ton of TNT is 4.184 gigajoules, so the kinetic energy of Rods of God is 144 tons of TNT. It is way less power than the nuclear bomb, which is 12,000 tons of TNT and used in Hiroshima. However, it has more destructive power than MOAB and ATBIP, known as the most powerful conventional bombs. But there are a lot of obstacles to be deployed. First, the cost of placing tens of tons of tungsten rods on orbit is very expensive. The cost of placing one kilogram object on orbit is about 50,000 US dollars. The cost of only placing a 10 tons of tungsten rod to space is about 500 million US dollars. 12 pieces cost 6 billion US dollars. It is not efficient before the breakthrough of technological transition to space. The other obstacle is a violation of the prohibition of satellite weaponization by Outer Space Treaty in 1967 and Strategic Arms Limitation Talks in 1977. The deployment of Rods of God is almost impossible due to those treaties. Personally, I hope for the development of medicine preventing hair loss rather than new weapons. Don't forget to like and subscribe.